morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I believe that today's message is going to bless you. Today's message is called Free from Legion. Free from Legion. Amen. And so before we get into the word, listen, after, after you watch this, if it blesses you, share it. You never know who might need it and, and who's going through something that might need to hear this message. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you. And uh, let's begin by prayer. Amen. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Uh, 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 this morning, Lord God, thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Th thank you for, for just uh, allowing us to enjoy another day. There's a lot of people that didn't get that chance, Lord God. And, and, and we know that you are not done with us, Lord God. Because we're still here, Lord Jesus. So right now, Lord God, open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, Lord God, to receive your message. That it may change us, that it may rearrange us, Lord God, and, and it, that it may uplift us. Thank you, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. So today's message is free from legion. Okay? And we're going to go to Mark 5. Mark 5, verse 1. And it says this, they went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons off his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted out to the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus has said to him, come out, of, come out of this man, you impure spirits. So this is what's, what's happening. This man is possessed by demons. This man is, is, is possessed. Jesus goes across. He gets on a boat, goes across. And he, he, he comes to this place. And he's walking up. And this man, it, uh, uh, he's possessed by demons. This man sees Jesus. Okay? Or should I say these demons see Jesus coming. And they fall at his feet. Now in the King James, I'm reading off the NIV, but in the King James it says that they worship at his feet. Okay? Because they know who God is. Alright? Jesus is in the flesh, but he's still God above everything. And so they begin to say, don't torture us. Leave us alone, please. Don't torture us. Right? And so this is what Jesus says. He said, he tells them, in verse 8, come out of this man, you impure spirits, and watch. Then Jesus asked him, what is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. And so they said, my name is Legion, okay? Legion is not the name of the demon. Legion means we are many, okay? Legion means an army of many. That's what that means. So the demon is not called Legion. Understand that. It's just that it's an army of demons. It's more than one. As a matter of fact, the Legion would represent about 3,000 to 6,000. If you can remember in Matthew 26, 53, Jesus said, If I call on my father, he can have more than 12 legions of angels come down and rescue him, right? So, legion just means an army. Don't get it twisted, all right? It doesn't mean that's the name. So they're saying, uh, uh, so Jesus says, what demon are you, right? Who, what, what is your name? And they say, our name is legion for we are many. We are many in here. So this man is possessed by many demonic forces. And so watch what happens. So verse 9. What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. 
And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. Verse 11, a large herd of pigs was feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, send us among the pigs, allow us to get into them. He gave them permission, and the impure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down in steep bank into the lake and were drowned. So they're like, please, please, do, you know, just allow us to go into, into the pigs then. Don't send us to the pit of hell or don't, you know, don't destroy us. Just allow us to go into the pigs. Jesus said, all right, I'll allow it. Go to the pigs. So this man that was possessed by demonic forces, Jesus cast them out. They, they begged Jesus not, 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 not to destroy them. And he allows them to go into the pigs. And what happens? The pigs go over the hill. They all die. Okay. Now. The interesting point about this story is that we tend to look at this story from the point of view of Jesus. We tend to look at the story is that what happened if we ever came across a, 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 a man possessed. But I want you to, to, to change your way of thinking. Because what we must understand is that we... Maybe we are not possessed by demons, all right? But we are, we have tendencies of this man. And, I, and, and I'll, give you, I'll give you a clue, okay? So, so maybe, yes, we're not possessed by demons. But maybe we show the world different personas. We have different perso personas that we show the world. We have a media persona. That, that, that's the one with the little filters, right? We take pictures and we, we, we show the world in a different view of what reality is, right? I asked my, my wife yesterday, um, you know, she put this mirror and, and uh, uh, this big old mirror in my gym. She posted it and everything. And, and, and I was like, man, that's great. And I looked myself in the mirror and I was like, man, I got a fat face. I got a fat face, man. I was like, you couldn't get the skinny mirror? You can't get the mirror that, that makes you look skinnier? Which there are mirrors out there that makes you look skinnier. So we tend to show different personas to people with filters of our lives and not true reality. So a lot of us, okay, I would say all of us have the road rage persona every now and then you might not have it every day or, or but it, maybe it's just me i don't know but so we have that we have the father the wife the mother persona the 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 what what our family sees what our kids see of us and then we have the deepest darkest secret that only god knows or maybe you're one of those people that put up a big smile and everybody sees you as this happy-go-lucky person, but at night, you might not cut yourself, but deep down inside you're hurting. We have different personas. And so maybe we're not possessed by thousands of demonic forces, but I guarantee you we have committed thousands of sins. We all have done it. The Bible says we, we are short of His glory. No one is perfect. And so we've all committed sin against God. And a lot of them. So, so watch this, watch this. Maybe, maybe you've allowed depression or hate or anger in your life. Maybe you've allowed worrying in your life. Maybe you've allowed uh, 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 all kinds of stress in your life. Amen? And anger could be very, very crazy cycle. A lot of people tend to hold on to the things that people did to them back in the day. And they tend on to hold on for a very long time. And it grows over the years. So, 
We have all these things. Maybe you don't have a lot of demons, but maybe you have a lot of these. The fear, discouragement, the stress, the worrying. Or maybe you just have one of those. See, what we got to acknowledge is that we are no better than this man. When we, take, we, when we tend to look at this story, we tend to look at this man like, oh, he must have been sinning a lot. He must have been into some things that he shouldn't have done and all these things. And probably so. But we must not judge. We must think about it. Whenever we hear a message, we must think and realize, okay, God. This message is for me. I know that the, I've done some things wrong too. And so Jesus cast the demons out of this man. Okay? When everybody had given up on this man, everybody had forgotten about this man, this man lived amongst the dead. He lived amongst the tombs. A funeral place. This man was an outcast. Everyone had forgotten about this man, but not Jesus. See, Jesus traveled way far just for this man. He got in a boat. He went over the ocean. He went to Gerasenes, and he did it just for this man to set him free. Jesus knew that he was about to meet this man and set him free. Listen, when everybody forgets about you, maybe you're in a dead place in your life. Maybe you're living amongst the dead. And I'm not saying literally like uh, in a funeral home. But maybe you're in a dead place in your life. But see, Jesus came to give you life. To bring you out of that dead place that you're in. To take away all your worries, all your stress, all your suffering, all your pain. He came to cast all those things out. That you may have life and life more abundantly. Jesus came to set this man free. Jesus comes to set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, watch this. Those tending the pigs, this is verse 14. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the town and the countryside. And the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there dressed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen told the people what had happened to the demonic possession possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him, but said, go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he had mercy on you. So watch that. You, do you understand what is happening here? Jesus came and delivered this man from bondage, from sin, from suffering, from depression. From, this man was cutting himself. He was possessed by these demonic forces. And look what happens. The people ran off, told everybody. That, then they came back to Jesus. And, and, and instead of being happy for him, they asked Jesus to leave. See, there's going to be people in your life, instead of being happy for what God is doing in your life, they're going to be more upset about it. Instead of being excited about what God is doing in your life, they're going to be more ups upset. Because why? Because Jesus is not good for business. Jesus doesn't care about their business. Uh, see, these pigs, a lot of people relied on these pigs. That was their business. 
And these pigs all died. But Jesus cares more about your soul than business. Jesus cares more about your life than how much money people are going to make. So, see, all the people weren't happy. There's going to be more people upset. The drug dealer is going to be more upset that you are free from drugs than happy for you. The liquor store is going to be more upset that you are free from alcoholism than happy for you. The big pharmaceutical companies are going to be more upset when Jesus sets you free. When Jesus heals you. Not everybody's going to be happy for you. Some of your friends ain't going to be all happy for you. But you must understand what God is doing in your life and setting you free from the bondage, from the chains, from depression. Jesus set this man free. And I'm here to tell you that God has not forgotten about you. That Jesus has not forgotten about you. That he is coming today to say that I will set you free. He has not forgotten about you. Maybe your family, maybe your loved ones, maybe everybody has forgotten about you. But Jesus does not forget about you. He traveled far for this man and I can tell you today that he has traveled far just for you he traveled all the way to the cross all the way to the pit of hell and out of the grave just for you he did it all for you to set you free so today I declare Depression to leave your life in the name of Jesus. Worrying to leave your life in the name of Jesus. Suffering to leave your life in the name of Jesus. All the pain that you've endured, let go of it right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus can set you free. He's coming just for you to set you free from those bondages that are holding you back in your life. And he told this man, go, go, right? He said, go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you. Tell people how much he has done for you. Somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear your story. Maybe he just didn't set you free from all these demon possessed, but he set you free from worrying. And, and he set you free from stress. He set you free from depression. If that's you, he's setting you free today in the name of Jesus. The same spirit that set people free back then is here and alive today. Right through this, 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 this TV, right through this, this video into your house. In the name of Jesus, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Yes, God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for everything that we're doing, that you're doing, Lord God. Jesus traveled far just for this man. And he did a lot more just for you. Will you receive it today? Will you receive his salvation? Will you receive his miracles today? I'm praying for you. I believe he's setting you free today. Begin to worship right where you're at. Begin to praise him. Begin to thank him. Even though you don't feel like he's doing a miracle right now. It's not about your feelings. It's about what God is doing and what he can do. So begin to thank him for your miracle. Begin to thank him for what he's doing just for you.
because he's doing it. He loves you that much. He traveled that much just for you. God bless you. I hope this blessed you. And, and, and share it with somebody. God bless you. Until next Sunday, God bless. Bye.